Yo, Liam, you back with another episode of the Minecraft Survival Games. Today, we're playing on the map Rebellions District, and we're going to be talking about something that's rather important to me, and that is who are the happiest students out there? So, let me uh, talk about how I got into this topic before I give the final answer to it. So, anyway, um, I had been feeling rather unintelligent, you know, not smart in my classes. Um, it seemed like everybody was getting better grades than me and understanding the concepts better. And I was relying on a lot um, more people to explain stuff to me than before. And it just overall seemed like everybody was doing better at me in school than, uh, than normal. Like, I usually I'm at the like top of my class, or at least near there. Um, and now it seems like I had just sunk down below and wasn't doing that well compared to my peers. And this confused me. I didn't understand why this was happening all of a sudden. Because it's not I hadn't taken um, motivation away from my school. So, um, yeah. So that was the problem I was having. But then I figured out the solution and the answer. And it's quite an interesting one, okay? <coughs> so get this. Um, if you want to know where I typically stand in my class, I am right at the mark between the top quarter and the second quarter. Um, I don't mind really saying that on camera. Um, um, so, if you were to take any kid for my grade, three out of four of them, or if you were to, yeah, there, there'd be a three out of four chance, about 75% chance, that they would have a worse GPA than me. So yeah, that is where I stand in my class. So, um, I'm in all AP classes this year, and that's typically filled up by the kids who were in the top quarter. So that's why I haven't been doing as well. Because since I'm in only APs this year, the only people I see day in and day out are the kids who were, um, for sure in the top quarter of the class. Which makes sense, uh, which makes me the dumbest person in the class. Because if I'm barely, um, in the top quarter to make it into these classes, and that means I am barely, um, able to get all the stuff compared to these other kids. Which is why I've been feeling unintelligent and why these kids have been getting better grades than me. So it's like, oh, there's my answer. I'm just, n like, I'm just not as qualified to be in these classes as other people. So it's not that I got dumber. It's just I surrounded myself with smarter people as of late. So that's why I've been feeling dumb recently. And, um, there's chest here too. So that's why I've been feeling dumb recently. Now, with that being said, <coughs> apparently I'm not the only one who gets this feeling. I watched a video by ASAP Science. I don't know how many of you guys watch their videos, but I really like them. They're colorful, uh, they explain concepts really well and easily, and they're just fun videos to watch all together, and you always take something new away from them. Um, so, apparently, some of the ha- the way, um, the happiest students are the people who are the smartest for their section of where they are, if that makes sense. I'll, I'll get it in a further detail. So it's not the students who are smarter than everyone else overall, it's the students who are the smartest based on their surroundings. So let me put this into perspective. Um, Harvard is one of uh, the best, if not the best, uh, university in the United States in terms of academics. It's known for um, a lot of good positive things when it comes to academics. Um, so you think a lot of research would be published um, by people from Harvard um, but um, compared to other schools but what they actually found is that people from Harvard um, only the top 1% was releasing a like a ton of research, only the top 1% of the Harvard students were releasing research and the other 99% wasn't as active. And then they uh, took a look at some other universities that weren't ranked as high as Harvard in terms of academics. And what they found there is that those schools, the top percent again was um, doing all the research while the other 99% wasn't as active. So with all that being said, it means that um the smartest kids at the location that they're at are the people who are releasing the most research data, if that makes sense. So, bottom line, the kids who are the smartest are the ones who are releasing 
um, the most research depending on where they are. So someone who is like at the top 1% of a school not ranked as high as Harvard um, isn't as smart as the whole spectrum of people. So like someone who's in the bottom quarter of their class at Harvard might be smarter than someone who's at the top 1% of their class at a university that isn't really ranked that high. You see what I'm saying? So, it's just based on your surroundings, and the happiest students are the ones who are the smartest for their surroundings. So, in my situation, say I didn't, say I was not in AP classes, say instead I had been in pre-AP honors classes, or even lower than that, just the regular classes. I'd feel great, a lot better than I do now, because my surroundings would be uh, people who don't have grades as high as mine. And I'd be a lot um, smarter compared to my surroundings, and therefore be a lot happier with myself. So yeah, that that's the answer to the question. The happiest students are the ones who <coughs> are the smartest um, compared to their surroundings. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And maybe if you didn't know that, maybe it'll help you feel good about your position if you were somewhere where I was. Where like you weren't feeling as good as... Uh, you used to um, and now knowing this it gives me a lot more peace of mind you know it's like oh okay I'm supposed to feel this way I'm not the only one who's like this because a lot of times there are kids who um they're top of their class during high school like number one valedictorian everybody knows them as the smoke kid or the go-to kid when you need um, a, an answer to a question but then they go to these top-of-the-line schools like Harvard or Yale or something like that. And then their identity is, like, broken down because everybody there is super smart. And everybody there has a reason to be there. Um, and then they no longer are identified as the super smart kid who knows the answer to everything. Because everybody's like that, so they aren't different from their surroundings and often lose their mind. So, yeah. That is... It, it, it all makes sense why this phenomenon keeps happening. Now, where was I trying to get over to? Was it this chest? Okay, so yeah, that's basically the answer to the question. On another note, I promise you guys I would get a win this game. So far, we're looking like we got a good chance uh, to be in the running. Um, we got pretty good gear. If I could find a crafting bench in this crazy map, uh, maybe I could... Did I come this way? Um... <coughs> Hmm, there's a guy over here. Let's just kill him for whatever he's got. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys understand that explanation. Please feel free to leave in the comments your thoughts on what I'm saying. Do you agree, disagree, and all that stuff? Um, it's all good fun. Um, okay, this guy has nothing except I can't get out of here. But that's okay, because he climbed into my clutches. And we got his ass. Um... Yeah, and I'm not trying to make myself sound like an asshole by saying I'm typically smarter than everyone else. Because, as my grades show, um, a quarter of my class still makes better grades than me. And I know it, grades don't prove intelligence as a whole. There are a bunch of people who could have a better GPA than me, but they're so lazy that they couldn't do it if they tried due to their laziness. Um... <laughs> like, it's kind of the old thing, I hear this all the time. Oh, well, I'm smarter than you, Liam, but I I'd have better grades if I tried in school. Well, then you're not smarter than me at all, because I know that my grades matter to getting a better colleges and, um... <clears throat> and a better college degree means a higher chance of getting a high-paying job as soon as you leave college, which sounds pretty good to me, so... If you don't want money in life, which is a dumb idea, then by all means, blow off your school. And these kids saying that, oh, well, I do other stuff outside of school. Well, yeah, everyone does that. I'm, I'm like, to be honest, I'm at the point where I'm sick of kids trying to tell me how to run my life because some of these kids haven't even gotten in one school yet, and so far, I'm killing the college application game. Um, so, like... Yeah, it's just like that. I don't like it when people tell me that they're smarter than me, but they don't have the reasons to back it up. By all means, if someone has a higher GPA than me, and um, I say that I'm smarter than them, and they throw that higher GPA at me, then yeah, I guess they do have me there. That I mean, that's fair and square, because 
I worked the hardest I can in school. There's not a homework assignment or a task or a project that I don't do to the best of my ability and I'm not fully prepared for walking in the door. <coughs> I always try my best in school because I know it's important and so far it's paying off with all these acceptances I've been getting to schools. But, um, so someone who has a higher GPA than me is just flat out smarter than me and I'm fine with that because I know there's nothing I could have done to myself to do it smarter. They might get the concepts easier, making their homework easier to do and more accurate than mine. That's just how it is, bottom line. And why the hell are there stairs here if I can't climb up? Okay, this is confusing. Um, well, these stairs work. Um, I don't know where to go. I feel like a rat in a maze right now. Um, so, yeah, that's good. That is good. Um, but, you know, uh, being academically smart, I would say, is not the only thing that makes a student happy. A healthy balance of other stuff such as sports, out-of-school activities, um, community service, um, a social life, stuff like that definitely contributes to um, a student's mental health a lot. Because there are a lot of students who were like top of their class and still just not happy because they don't get to do anything besides their homework. <coughs> Where the hell is Spawn? Okay. I know I only have 30 seconds before a deathmatch, but I want Nine Sword pretty badly here. Okay, we need Spawn. Okay, spawns this way. Someone has been on the surface. To me, it seems like the underground area on this map is a lot better than the surface in terms of finding stuff. Um, there's a dude down here. Oh, spawns right here. We have 10 seconds. Can we make it? Ah, oh, shoot. Shoot, I messed up and don't even get the iron. Okay. Um... I can do this if I want. You guys can't tell me to stop Randy teaming. I got pretty good geared compared to these clowns, as it appears. Time to rush. Yeah, that's some fine work. Okay, guys, so <coughs> we got a win there, which makes me happy. But yeah, let me know if you think everything I've explained in this video is right. If you think the happiest students truly are the people who are the smartest for their surroundings, or if you think there's other stuff in the equation that I forgot to mention, or if you just think I'm completely wrong and have your own theory, that's all good too. I like uh, interaction in the comments. Even if I don't reply to a comment, I always read it. So, um, definitely, if you have any suggestions, leave them down there. I believe this was 248, so we got one more, and then episode 250. I know what I'm gonna do, so I don't need any more suggestions. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode of MCG. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.